show lots of love to Kevin McGeehan. At the end of my first semester of college, I had earned two Ds and an F, which is a .66 grade point average, or as I told my very disappointed mother, it's a .7 if you round up. <laughs> my mother did not find this as clever as I did because I was immediately put on academic probation and this deficit caused my college timeline to be extended by years. So at the beginning of my sixth year for a four-year degree, all I wanted in this world was to graduate college. So a few weeks into that semester, I was hired by one of my professors, Heather, to drive out to her house and help her type up a proposal. I did this for three reasons. One, I needed the money. Two, Heather taught some of the required classes I needed to graduate so it couldn't hurt to be in her good graces. And three, I had such a crush on her. So I arrive at her house, we start to work, but she becomes distracted. I ask her what's wrong, and then she confessed to me that her and her meathead boyfriend had broken up and that he had recently moved out and she was sad. I found this information to be, I don't know, intriguing. <laughs> As the day progressed, Heather started to uh, just glide around her living room touching items, getting sad, and then telling me why that item reminded her of Meathead. And in, and in an attempt to lighten the mood, I also started gliding around the living room, touching items, getting sad, and telling her why that item reminded me of Meathead. That made her laugh, which led to talking, which led to connection, which led to a kiss by my car, a kiss that, because she is not here to refute it, she initiated. <laughs> and thus began a year-long secret romantic relationship with a college professor and a student. Now, the person who could not know about this was the head of the department named Judith, Heather's boss and my academic advisor. Now, if we were to get caught for Heather, even a consensual romantic relationship with a student was grounds for dismissal. For me, all of my credits from Heather's classes could be invalidated, therefore delaying or preventing me from graduating, or worse yet, I could be expelled. However, we talked about it and we decided that we were quite fond of each other and that it was worth the risk. So for a very long time, for many months, we were able to keep it completely secret. Until one day, Heather and I returned to her house after being gone all day. When we entered, we could tell that something had recently been on fire. We traced the smell back to the kitchen and we were horrified at what we discovered. All of the pictures of me that had been on the refrigerator were now on the eye of the stove burned to a crisp with a handwritten note next to it that said, I know who he is now. And my first thought was, we are in so much trouble. We came to find out later that Meathead had let himself into her place with a spare key so he could retrieve the cats that he had abandoned there months ago. And while he was there, he snooped, and he found out she was dating someone, and he figured out it was a student. And then, for whatever reason, I can only imagine it was a combination of jealousy and dickishness, he decided he was going to exact some sort of revenge. So the next day, he called the dean of the department to say that Heather was dating a student, and then he named that student. Heather was called into Judith's office to discuss these allegations. And when Heather was upstairs in that meeting, I was downstairs in the quad, pacing ferociously and sweating profusely because she was upstairs getting fired and I knew that I was not gonna graduate. And I'm gonna be really candid with you. I dreaded the phone call to my mother to say, do you remember when you thought that .66 was bad? And then Heather came out of the building and she walked towards me and she had this dazed look in her eye. And I asked her what happened. And she told me that she was brought into Judith's office. Judith reiterated that there had been allegations brought up to her, uh, brought up against her that she was with a student. And then my heart sank when she said it because it was real. 
But then Heather smiled, leaned forward, and finished, a student named Patrick, which is not my name. (laughs) My name is Kevin, which is already an Irish name, but for some reason, because Meathead wasn't that smart, he somehow conflated the most Irish of Irish names with my Irish name. And then Judith, because there was no other Frank or no no other Patrick in the department, she said, if you can look me in the eye, Heather, and tell me that you have not had an affair with a student named Patrick, we can consider this matter closed. Heather took the opportunity and said, I have never been with a student named Patrick. And then the matter was closed. (laughs) And it was such a wonderful thing to know that it was because Meathead wasn't that smart. (laughs) A week later... Judith and I had our final academic advisor meeting where we were going to go over my grades, including my grade in Heather's class, which was a well-earned and non-biased B. (laughs) And Judith told me I had the rest of the credits uh, available and needed for me to graduate. And I was ecstatic. And I stood up and I was so uh, just happy. And I said, thank you so much, Judith. And then as I was walking out, uh, Judith said, hey, congratulations, Kevin. Or should I say Patrick? (laughs) Turns out, Judith knew the whole time. But for whatever reason, thankfully, she decided she was not going to do anything about it because Heather went on to go to another university out of state, and I was able to, after six long years, finally graduate college with a cumulative overall GPA of 2.66, or as I told my very proud mother, it's a 2.7 if you round up. Thank you very much.